Let's go. And we will see. Hello and welcome to this beautiful midweek day, Wednesday the 7th day of June 2023 and this is your lab boy today and the topic for your lab boy today is that instruction that you should seek the Lord and walk by faith. We'll be reading from 2 Kings, the second book about the kings and uh, this, the book of 2 Kings uh, is said to have been comp compiled by uh, prophet Isaiah. I mean, all those stories happened more than a thousand years before Christ, but Isaiah put them together perhaps about 750 years before Christ, maybe over 200 years after most of those events happened. And everything in the books of the Kings and also of the Chronicles are to show you what happened to those people of God, the children of Israel, whenever they had a king or a leader that took them on a path after the heart of the Lord, and whatever destruction also came their way, whenever their leader and the people themselves decided not to follow the ways of the Lord. And that's why perhaps this particular topic for today is like a summation of everything that you find in the book of Kings. What is the wisdom to be taken from there is that you should seek the Lord and walk by faith. But let's read the particular story that we have for today is in 2 Kings chapter 13. How you said, let's go very quickly because it's a very, very long reading. In the 23rd year of Joash, the son of Ahaziah, king of Judah, Jehoahaz, the son of Jehu, began to reign over Israel in Samaria. And he reigned 17 years. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and followed the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin. He did not depart from them. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he gave them continually into the hands of Ahazel, king of Syria, and into the hand of Ben-Hadad, son of Ahazel. Then Jehoaz besought the Lord, and the Lord hearkened to him, for he saw the oppression of Israel, how the king of Syria oppressed them. Therefore the Lord gave Israel a savior, so that they escaped from the hand of Syrians, and the people of Israel dwelt in their homes as formerly. Nevertheless, they did not depart from the sin of the house of Jeroboam, which he made Israel to sin but walked in them, and the Asherah also remained in Samaria. For there was not left to Jehoahaz an army of more than 50 horsemen and 10 chariots and 10,000 footmen. For the king of Syria had destroyed them and made them like the dust of a threshing. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoahaz and all that he did and his might are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Jehoah has slept with his fathers and they buried him in Samaria. And Joash, his son, reigned in his stead. In the 37th year of Joash, king of Judah, Joash, the son of Jehoaz, began to reign over Israel in Samaria. And he reigned 16 years. 
he also did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not depart from all the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, which he made Israel to sin, but he walked in them. Now the rest of the acts of Joash and all that he did, and the might with which he fought against Amaziah, king of Judah, are they not written in the book of the chronicles of the kings of Israel? So Joash slept with his fathers, and Jeroboam sat upon his throne. And Joash was buried in Samaria with the kings of Israel. Now, when Elisha had fallen sick with the illness of which he was to die, Joash the king of Israel went down to him and wept before him, crying, My father, my father, the chariots of Israel and its horsemen. And Elisha said to him, Take a bow and arrows. So he took a bow and arrows. Then he said to the king of Israel, Draw the bow, and he drew it. And Elisha laid his hands upon the king's hands, and he said, Open the window eastward, and he opened it. Then Elisha said, Shoot! And he shot. And he said, The Lord's arrow of victory, the arrow of victory over Syria. For you shall fight the Syrians in Afek until you have made an end of them. And he said, Take the arrows. And he took them. And he said to the king of Israel, Strike the ground with them. And he struck three times and stopped. Then the man of God was angry with him and he said, You should have struck five or six times. Then you would have struck down Syria until you had made an end of it. But now you will strike down Syria only three times. So Elisha died and they buried him. Now bands of Moabites used to invade the, the land in the spring of the year. And as a man was being buried, lo, a marauding band was sent in. And the man was cast into the grave of Elisha. And as soon as the man touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood on his feet. Now, Hazael, king of Syria, oppressed Israel all the days of Jehoahaz. But the Lord was gracious to them and had compassion on them. And he turned towards them because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and would not destroy them, nor has he cast them from his presence until now? When Hazael, king of Israel, Syria, died, ben Hadad his son, became king in his stead. Then Jehoash, the son of Jehoaz, took again from ben Hadad, the son of Hazael, the cities which he had taken from Jehoahaz, his father, in war. Three times Jehoash defeated him, and recovered the cities of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, like I said, even before reading that piece, everything in the Chronicles of the Kings of Israel and in the first and second kings as written by Prophet uh, Isaiah were to showcase how God was always with Judah and Israel when they were together in the Lord. By the way, it was not the will of God that we should even have Syria, I mean, sorry, um, Israel separated from Judah. They were supposed to be one people. I don't know why certain tribes, ten tribes, got themselves together and had a capital in Syria. And then the, the two uh, uh, tribes uh, of uh, uh, Judah and Benjamin stayed together in Judah. And those were the ones that constantly had the temple and were virtually always in the will of God. And sometimes Israel would also dare to want to fight Judah. Of course, that was fighting against the people of God when it did happen. And most of the time, it was Israel, the rest of Israel, with the capital in Samaria, that was always captured by Syria. Why wasn't Syria making an attempt all of the time? Occasionally it did happen, but it happened more in Syria than in Judah than in Jerusalem. So if you walk with the Lord, the Lord will walk with you in victory. And if you walk away from the Lord, sorry, bad news, but I have to say it, then the Lord will walk away from you 
and then you will not have the victory. So all you need to do and what we are saying to you today is that you seek the Lord and walk with him by faith, believing that all will be well. You know, all the stories that we read here, whenever those kings walked with the Lord, it was well with the kings and with Israel. And whenever they walked away from the Lord, then can you imagine a king that was not even after the heart of the Lord, but went to meet Elisha and cried, my father, my father. And that one said, okay, I will consult the real father concerning you. And, you know, told him and by the inspiration of the spirit, told him that he was going to be victorious. And, well, the victory number of times, three times, was determined by the king himself striking the ground three times. So, another lesson that you need to learn there is as you walk by faith, walk as well. W-O-R-K. Walk, W-A-L-K, in faith, and walk, W-O-R-K. Those two go together. Like I always tell my students, uh, I say, you must read as if you are not going to pray, and you must pray as if you are not going to read, so that by the time you read and you pray, definitely success will come your way. So for you to know your endeavors, by the time you walk and walk in faith, success will definitely come your way. Now, do you want to, to, to join that house of faith right now? All you need to do is to say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. I want to seek you and I want to be able to walk by faith with you. I ask that you forgive me of all the sins of the past because I admit that I have been a sinner. I confess those sins right now. I say, Lord, hold me. I believe that you are Lord and Savior. Accept me as one of yours from today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer, welcome to the fold of faith. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can walk the more with God by faith and learn to walk that which is in the path of honor with God. Join us in the Anglican Church of the PSD Extension where I'm priest in charge. Um, services are on Tuesdays, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon, and on Sundays, 9 o'clock in the morning. Those services for now still hold in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Onyikon and Gokyomibo Drive, Rokia City Extension, Oshobo. But you can see some account, bank account details on the screen right now. Join us. Let us walk by faith in building a purposeful church for the Lord. Drop something in that account and the Lord will bless you. And as you go out today, say this prayer. Say, oh my Father, help me to always act in faith and find help in times of need. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today. Seek the Lord. Walk in faith. Surely it will be well with you. God bless you.